Hey, seventh grade. Hope you had a good weekend. This is Mr. Habercorn giving you your problem of the day. Copy it down, hit pause, write down everything you see. All right, I am hoping that you have been writing down everything I put up here in your notes. So you're supposed to have a math notebook and everything I teach up here is supposed to go into that math notebook. So make sure as our problem work is getting harder that you are writing everything down you see up here, okay? Make sure you write it down. All right, so Stuart ate three-eighths of a pizza. I want to know what percent did he eat? Well, and this is what percent is left. We'll worry about that later. What percent did he eat is what's important because that's the information they gave us, right? So a percent is always out of what? See this magic word? That means it's out of 100, right? So we're gonna force this fraction to be out of 100. So he ate three pizzas out of eight in the pizza, right? Cross multiply. Mr. Haberkorn would eat a lot more than three pieces. I'd probably eat six. I like to eat pizza. All right, 8x equals 300, right? We're getting really good at this cross multiplying. We are all proportion champions now. We can solve these algebra equations with our eyes closed. Divide by eight, divide by eight. And I get, it's gonna be a little bit tricky. Thirty-seven point five. So he ate thirty-seven point five percent of the pizza. So we got to figure out how much is left. Well, all we do is subtract that from a hundred, right? Percents out of a hundred. Now I get sixty-two point five percent is left. Guess what? Those should always add up to one hundred percent, right? The whole pizza. 100% is the whole thing. Okay, not too bad. All right, so we've been spending the last two days working on percent of change. Now this is not percent of change. This kind of went back to the is over of percent over 100, right? A little more like that, or just changing a fraction into a percent. All right, so today we're gonna learn how to do is turn a fraction into a decimal. And we're supposed to do these with no calculator. So I'm gonna teach you how to do them with no calculator. And I'm also gonna teach you how to do them with a calculator, all right? Because we're at home and things are a little difficult right now. So if you have to use a calculator, you can, but on the state test this year, they're probably gonna ask you to do these without one. So I want you to try to do them without a calculator if you can, all right? Okay, so these are a little tricky because it's long division and long division is never fun. Everybody hates long division. So three fourths. Now, a lot of you guys could do this in your head, three fourths, but we're gonna turn that into a decimal. And the way we do that is by dividing. So if we're going to type this in the calculator, you always type the top number in first. 3 divided by 4. So with a calculator, top number is your numerator, right? Numerator, top, divided by denominator. So if you have to do it that with the calculator, do it that way. But if you can divide, I want you to divide, all right? Now the biggest mistake is three divided by four. If you're gonna divide this without a calculator, this number goes in the bracket, your top number. All right, now, people might say, but four doesn't go into three. That's okay, because we're not getting, we're getting a decimal, right? So what I like to do is immediately 
put 0, 0 after it, okay? I'm going to write our four steps of division over here. Divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down. And we'll refer to those as we go through the problem, right? So dividing. Will 4 go into 3? No, it won't. If it doesn't, we have to put a 0 here, okay? Make sure you're neat. Put your 0 right above your 3, and then put your point straight up. Very important, putting that point straight up, okay? Then try to divide again. We couldn't divide before. Will 4 go into 30? Yes. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. 32, that's too many. So it goes in seven times. Now we all we go to the next step. We divide it, now we're gonna multiply. Always use the number you just wrote. So I wrote a seven, that's what I'm gonna use. Seven times four, okay? Seven times four is 28. Go to the next step, subtract. Subtract these two numbers. Can I do zero minus eight? No, we have to borrow. A little neat here. 10 minus 8 is 2. 2 minus 2 is 0, right? Okay, next step is bring down. I'm going to bring the 0 down and set it next to the 2. We're not done yet. We'll go back to the top and do it again, okay? Always work with the number we just wrote. Divide 20. Will 4 go into 20? Yes. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. Five times. Multiply. 5 times 4 is 20. Subtract, we get zero. There's nothing else to bring down, so we're done. So my answer is 0 0.75. Now if you would type this into the calculator, you'd get 0 0.75. Oh, what if I wanted that as a percent? Move the point over two places, 75%, right? Okay. So that's how we do those. Convert a fraction into a decimal. We'll do one more together. See if we can do it, okay? Three-eighths. Now we know if we're going to type this in the calculator, three divided by eight. But if we're putting it in the bracket, top number goes in the bracket. It goes in the way it does not make sense, okay? Three divided by eight. Put the point zero, zero after it. Write out my four steps. Long division, hardest thing in math. It just is. It's got four steps. It's a lot of steps. A lot of things to remember. Okay, so we divide first. Will 8 go into 3? No. Bring up my point. Will 8 go into 30? Yes. 8, 16, 24, 32. That's too many. Three times. All right, multiply. 3 times 8 is 24. Subtract. Can I do zero minus four? No. Gotta borrow. 10 minus four is six. Two minus two is nothing. So we did our subtract. Now I'm gonna bring down the zero. Am I done yet? Nope, back to the top. How many eights go into 60? Eight, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56. 64, too many. All right, seven times. Can we divide, we multiply. Seven times eight is 56. Subtract. I get four. We could keep going, but we're not going to keep going. We're just going to do two numbers after the point. All right? So 0 0.37 is our decimal. So I want you to try to do them this way. And show me your work on paper if you can. I'm not gonna give you a lot of these, but I want you to try them and see if you can figure them out. We'll practice them throughout the year. Long division's a pain in the butt, I agree, but this is one time we need to use it. So, try them. If you really, really can't do them that way, at least write out the problem, and then use the calculator, okay? Show me what you typed in the calculator, at least. If you're gonna type in three divided by eight, at least show me what you typed in, okay? And show me how you would write, set up the problem. All right, so we'll try some of these today and see how you guys do. Have a great Monday, guys.